have been rap. accused of much. Go rewind the tape. Go rewind the tape of the that funky guy Neva has said. Hold on. What do you do with that, y'all? This girl such a craziness. I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another word on the street segment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So for this video, we are going to be discussing Mariah Hulk and your girl, Nessa girl, Funky Dineva. So last week, Mariah, she had did a live, and she just really came on us because she wanted to get some followers for her TikTok. Okay, so she could be able to go live on TikTok. But people in her comments, you know, the whole King situation was going down and they had asked her about it and said, why don't you join Real Housewives of Atlanta? And she weighed in on what she think might have happened with the whole Kenya and Brit situation. Kenya ain't Kenya no more. Allegedly. Allegedly. We, we can't talk about that. Yeah, who can? Yes, we can. I ain't none of nothing. I ain't talking about anything I want to. I just choose. Shannon is team 12. <laughs> Listen, I'm team Hulk. Shannon is team 12. <laughs> Well, she could twirl on, but listen. I am not. <laughs> but if she did what they said she did, I do believe the, the producers knew and were involved. It, probably sent her out. it was pre production. It's they called production. Out. They people. sent her out. But that's the thing. When is anybody going to say, oh, I should be doing this on oh, TikTok? But listen, when you is on TikTok? Oh, I'm on TikTok? Yes. Oh, I'm TikTok. And finally, yes. Okay, so listen. <laughs> Why is it that now everybody get fired? If you don't have rules in place, then how can you hold people accountable? It's bullshit. Let's like, keep going. We need more. Right? Yeah. No, seriously, Buffy. They don't have any rule. How they gonna hold her accountable if they set because all the stuff up? Now on that same live, somebody in her comments had asked her about what she think about the whole TGIF drama saga going on over there, and this is what she had to say. Can you talk about the TGIF thing? Oh, that's the, uh, uh, on Fox Soul. Well, you know, I was negotiating a deal with Fox Soul, so no, maybe I can't. But I will say this. I feel like a roast is a roast. And I just watched people roast Tom Brady oh, yeah, him for filth. Yeah, him I mean, for filth on Netflix. So why would anybody be asking or fired or, or laid off or put on time off? on Fox Soul for that little old. Al can take that. Okay, so Shannon feels like they went too hard on Al. It should have never been done. That's the first thing. So I so that's where I feel like you if you feel like something went wrong, you have to ask yourself, why did they roast him? It's his birthday. Mm -hmm. Was he in agreement with the roast? That's the question we and should be asking. Was it a surprise roast? Then everybody, then everybody, then everybody. Did you hear what he party. said, though, Mariah? When Nicky Funky said when he called Funky and he was giving no, out. No, I didn't hear what he called. So I'll call Funky, Funky mm -hmm. Daniva, uh -huh. and was giving Funky was on live. I'll say, did you go watch the show? Did you see what they did to me? Oh my God! And he said, I'm on live. He said, I don't care. No, he said, I don't give a f. Yes, well, he was mad. Care. So that's how. So you what that. was the worst thing y'all think that they said? Talking about it, his but you don't talk about I think what it was. What was the worst thing that y'all think he said? That it was an embarrassment. Al was a little. But he was saying he's like messy and go talk behind people back and all this stuff. Did y'all watch the Tom Brady? Girl, he ain't no damn Tom Brady. We black, white folks and black folks is different. But them white folks went there, baby. Them white, I just had a whole new respect. They went there. It was a fight. Oh my, it's a. I didn't feel like Armand was there. He just said he couldn't read cards. Or he was. He said that man couldn't read. No, he said he couldn't read the the, the show cards. That means you can't damn read. Yeah, this like, man is a whole lawyer. <laughs> but that don't mean he can read show cards. I stumble, and I used to be a news anchor. I don't care. I felt like Armand could read for fifth, but I didn't even think it was that bad like that. Like that's the crazy part. What everybody else, like, he hurt his feelings, and he went too far, and it was Claudia, and no, ooh, 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 ooh. I just didn't think it was that bad. I was like. They said clock it, Mariah. They agree with Mariah. They like, they I was like, they been accused, they I have been accused of much. They're, they're Go rewind Mariah. the tape. Go rewind the tape of the sh that Funky guy Neva has said. Hold on. Go rewind the tape. Go, go rewind the tape.
said they did much worse to me. <laughs> they did much worse to me on my own show. Go rewind the tape. The, and Daniva ain't on, wasn't on my show, but I think he was being paid. In my oh, personal, right. my humble opinion. Go up? rewind and watch everything Funky Daniva ever said to me. I've only been nice to that man. God, my right hand to God. I loved him and Michelle from ATL. And go rewind the tape. You should know that nobody goes that hard unless they get a coinage. Or whatever. That's how I feel. I think Funky was great because Funky. Came Did you from think a Funky was great on the other show with uh, the all the what oh, was it? On Sister Circle. On Sister Circle. Did no. you think? No. Because Funky was he couldn't relate to that. That was a more serious thing. That was a more a black woman experience. But this is not a, that type of show. That's why it didn't work. Oh, thank you. I get it though. I get it. I get it. You know how mm -hmm. it is. They gave him that seat because he is messy. Who? Armand? Armand. They gave him that seat and because it, when you know him, I But don't whose know him. role was he? Rep what position? Funky. He plays. So, so, so that's. He so that messy position. So, exactly. So he was he replacing a person. He, he did he what he was hired to do. He coming behind Funky Daniba. And that's a. And that's a girl. I believe it. And it's gonna, Funky it's gonna carry. It's you give credit what credit and is they did that so they can get a shop value, but it still ain't gonna bring the people to the show. It's not. I, I agree. I agree. So Funky, he got wind of it, and he discussed this matter on his live three days ago. And let's listen to what the brother had to say. So I have not seen it. I don't know what platform or what interview or what social media. Um, Mariah Huck has been on recently, but I'm only going based off of everybody asking me to address it or everybody saying stuff in comments. And I've been consistently seeing Mariah says I was paid to attack her. That, that's that been the most consistent uh, thing that I've been seeing in my comments. And whatever, I wasn't going to say nothing about it. All that stuff is old news or whatever the case may be. Um, and then it resurfaced again today so what everybody say something about mariah mariah said you was paid to attack her this probably has less to do with mariah and more to do with y'all it it kind of boils my blood sometimes when y'all do this whole funky dineva is on somebody payroll oh you on monique payroll oh you on the scots payroll now you know according to Mariah allegedly I was on somebody else's payroll and so I love when we get opportunities like this Mariah Huck from Married to Medicine guys y'all talking about Mariah Lynn Mariah Carey keep up Suzanne I really be wanting to role play with y'all I want to role play with y'all please walk me through how this happens um first and foremost y'all let's just play a game of all the medicine wives which one y'all think paid me to attack Mariah? I mean, it would have to be Quad or Heavenly. Those would have to be the two that paid that paid me to attack her. So then, how this go? Uh, Quad called me Dad. 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 What you doing? I'm going to give you $500 if you go in and let half on Mariah on the internet. Okay, Quad. I'm a feeble-minded do boy cash at me right now so I could go in on her. Like, it doesn't even make sense. Now let's play heavily. Fuck it, Aniva. Fuck it, Aniva. You know I don't like that Mariah and her ass mammy, Miss Lucy. I'm gonna give you $1,000 if you go in on her. Okay, Heavenly, how about this? Instead of giving me money, how about you give me a free cleaning and I go in on her for years? How does that work? And so, you know, it, it, it's it's funny because over the years, I personally feel like, you know, I've shown a lot of grace and I've spared a lot of people when it comes to a lot of situations. And and, and here's what I'll say. Um, you know, honestly, truthfully, Mariah, I honestly thought we were past all of this. And I honestly thought enough time had gone by that we probably had gotten to a space where we could, you know, do an interview on the internet or maybe run into each other at the cheesecake factory waiting on the table 
and finish off our cocktails together catching up i i, I honestly thought you know enough time had gone by that we had probably entered that space um i see not um i saw a small clip of you and uh buffy hanging out and running alive and that ain't nothing but one big old trauma bond okay they need to go ahead and give buffy's ass another season of married to medicine because she is so doggone bitter when it comes to not being on that doggone show and for, for, for the life of me, I'm not understanding somebody so rich and wealthy as Buffy. I would be too busy shopping in damn Gucci and Prada so with it to be worrying about some two-bit ass reality show. But then I knew when I saw Mariah and Buffy together, it was just going to be a, 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 a cornucopia of bitterness. A whole conference of nothing but bitterness and shade throwing. Here's what I'll say and I'll move on. Mariah, nobody ever paid me to attack you. Um... I experienced your energy firsthand. I experienced it firsthand. I remember conversations that we've had and it just left a very nasty taste in my mouth about who you were at that time. You know what I'm saying? Or aspects of who you were at that time. Um, I think that it's very ugly Despite the fact that you were the creator of the show, I, def I think that there was a lot of conflation of roles and expectations. Me personally, I did not like the fact that your spirit and your energy required everybody to bow down to you like you were the queen of the earth. It's a very ugly trait for someone to have. Um, I remember the first time I ever side-eyed you is when you and Sharika came to Atlantic Station because you knew, I, I mean, not that because you knew I lived there. I lived there, and you, and you and Sharika called me down, and you invited me to Rosa Mexicana, and we were sitting there. It was season one of the show, and, and we were just talking, and you were asking questions, and you were saying, Funky Dineva, Funky Dineva, why, why people saying quad the star of the show? <clears throat> why people saying quad the star of the show and i remember saying i mean i don't know like you know she's kind of breaking out to be the star i don't know where everybody in chattanooga say everybody in chattanooga say she trying to take my show she trying to take my show i don't think she the star of the show and if she is the star of the show then i'm the star maker you said those things and I remember sitting there finishing eating my chips and guacamole and my pomegranate margarita like something ain't right with this lady. You know what I'm saying? And then as, you know, we continue to run to each other in public and as I began to make friends with all of the other ladies, it was a recurring theme with you that you were to be regarded as the queen and that everybody was to kiss your ass and that that was your show. I remember a conversation I had with Quad when <clears throat> they were vouching to bring Heavenly on the show and you got mad and went off on Quad and was like, how dare you bring somebody on to go against me on my own SHIT? You know what I'm saying? These were the, it, and these, this is why nobody over there messed with Mariah. You cannot have professional women with higher levels of education and wealth than you and they want them to bow down to you and kiss your butt like you the queen so that's all it was i mean to this day it ain't nothing personal i think outside of that you're probably a real cool woman and we probably would have a great time over margaritas and kiki in. but let's put this thing to rest and let's not reignite this because it's not going to end well for you that's that on that well all right then well y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below and i'll see you on the next one